typically at a party, I'm like sitting there and I'm in my head and I'm like, I should say something. No, 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 I, should, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say anything. Do you remember this time when I was young and somebody told me, if you don't open your mouth, they won't know that you're full. And I also remember this time when I told somebody that story and they looked at me like with shock or pity. I don't know, people staring at me. Are they looking at me? Do they know that I'm talking to myself? Wait, and I'm sure that all of this is going on as I'm sitting there looking crazy with my mouth half open. I was loving this new trend of the drive-through birthday parties, the drive-through baby showers, the drive-through wedding showers. See, it's something about parties and more so having to come up with a conversation and just really feeling drained after the whole experience. Hey, I'm Shari Kay and on this channel, we discuss purposeful living and personal finances to help you live a full wealthy life. I used to blame this awkwardness on the fact that I'm an introvert. Yeah, introverts unite in the comfort of our own home. But it, this was something more. I'm, this was social anxiety. There were times where like certain situations and environments where I actually thrived. So I took a moment and I just thought back to those times where I actually thrived in a social situation and thought back to what were the key things that I did. Now, these things may be able to help you if you have experienced social anxiety. I know during this time now, it's almost like a breather because there are so many, there's not as many uh, social interactions. However, I believe that any time is a great time to work on your skill sets. In interactions where I thrived, I had a purpose. Um, for instance, I may have been in a leadership position. I was um, over, my, over a Toastmasters club. So if I have a purpose if I was like in the PTA meeting and I'm pa passing out pizzas or something if I'm doing something in a situation it relaxes me from the pressure of having to engage in conversation that's unnatural because if I'm doing something the conversation naturally flows and I've lessened that to not necessarily where I have to be doing something so active it could be simply as having a purpose um, for the interaction for example I could say the purpose of the interaction is just to enjoy the other person that it's not really doing doing something but 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 for to to me it gives me a an, an intention it allows me to be intentional about my presence there and intentional about the other person's presence the second thing that helped me thrive is to be out of my head when i'm stuck in my head it's just an unending loop the social situations where I'm out of my head, they I'm able to flow better in conversation. I'm actually able to pay attention to what the other people are saying so that I'm able to bounce ideas off of them or like come back with the witty line or just the conversation eases and flows more naturally when I'm not focused on myself. And the, the third thing that I did naturally was that I did not take myself too seriously. So if I'm in conversation, it's a group setting, and then somebody says something that was a little off-putting to me, I, I I didn't take it seriously. I it was all a game to me, you know. And I thought to myself, this person is not trying to harm me. Um, so then I was able to just be have a playful spirit about it, and then it was just more enjoyable. Okay, so those are things that I did naturally. Looking back over it during the times that I did thrive in a social situation. Now these last two things are things that I added when I decided that I really wanted to thrive in all social situations. So the fourth thing is to recite scripture or affirmations before going into a social situation. So some of my favorites of scriptures are God has not given you the spirit of fear. Some of my, my other one is I could do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Some favorite affirmations that I have is like everybody loves me and I love everybody. And one of my favorite aff affirmations is I am safe, all is well. Just I am safe all is well. And something about repeating that or saying that to myself before I enter a situation that could potentially cause me to have the anxiety, it just really helps to ground me and to calm me down in that situation. Now, the fifth thing, <laughs> this is like the bazooka of things. And I don't even know if bazooka is the right word, but the fifth thing is to bring love into the situation. When I bring love into the situation, there is no room for anxiety. There is no room for judgment. There is no room for me to live in that small space. When I bring love, like intentional love into a situation, my energy is focused outwards. Like I can't, the energy is, is, is in a good space. It's focused outwards. It's not on anything that I'm lacking because it is 
it's full. That's that's the only way that I could explain it, that it's full. When I when I first got the Holy Spirit as an adult, now it felt like like God had ripped my heart open and poured like buckets, buckets of love into my heart. And I try to tap into that feeling when I am in social interactions because after I got the Holy Spirit, the first thing that I heard was, if you love me, then love what I love, people. And not saying that you have to have some type of spiritual experience in order to tap into this vibration of love. It is open and it is available to everyone. But I realized that when I am tapped into love, and now for me to be tapped into this first, I have to be in agreement and alignment and my intentions have to be pure. But when those things line up and I'm just tapped in, there's like, there's no room for anxiety. There's no room for judgment. There's no room for thinking about the smallness of me. Now, if you're still watching this, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, share this with somebody that it could help. If you've experienced social anxiety yourself and you do something other than what I said in order to help to deal with it or to cope with it or to get past it, leave that in the com comment section below. It's gonna be very beneficial for those that are reading it. All the best to you in your health and your finances and your relationships and in your contribution to this world. Hey, hey, it's a good day. Sit listening to Shark K. Money, money, break Monday. Money, break Monday. Hey.